Hello and welcome to another episode of Sue the Milwaukee Road. Here we're going to look at a Broadway Limited SW7 that has some issues running. It stops frequently, um, it cuts out, and the sound stops and then restarts, and it's kind of a pain when switching. Uh, after reading a number of message boards, they uh, noted that there are contacts that need to be cleaned. I'm going to show you how to disassemble a locomotive and uh, get into the inside and get all those parts clean that need to be taken care of. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, and the tools that I use are uh, a couple of exacto knives um, or blades. Small straight blade screwdrivers work as well. Um, I do keep that on as on hand as well, as well as a small Phillips that'll allow us to take out any of the screws that we might need to. Uh, first things first with this particular locomotive is you lift the grab irons off just by getting your nail underneath there and just turn them away from the body just slightly. And you do that on both sides. I know people, they fear handling shells or locomotives. This one has an area where you just pinch in the back, start to lift, do the same on the front, and the shell lifts off that easily. There's one cord that's held on. Uh, I do have another Broadway Limited that it has a couple of wire leads that uh, power the headlights. You can unhook that, and that then unconnects the, the shell itself. So here's what we're dealing with, obviously, is just the uh, locomotive chassis, and I'm just going to take the board off here. The main concern with these are actually the pickups on the sides of the trucks. Uh, as you lift this up here, again a couple more plugs. That here, this is just the speaker plug. Your power leads are actually these two outside ones, they're the black ones, and when you plug them back in, if you got them backwards, it's perfectly fine. So now we've taken the DCC board off completely. I set that aside. Same with the screws. So here's what we're working with on the uh, the truck and it can be kind of tough to see in this camera angle. But if you look there's actually a couple of tabs that you can actually put a screwdriver or an X-Acto knife under. You lift it just slightly, lift that just slightly, and the side frame, just the plastic portion, comes right off. You go lift, lift, off, and once you've done enough of these locomotives and the different styles, you get pretty used to uh, disassembling some of these small parts. There are no excessive detail on these to worry about in terms of breaking or uh, damaging, so not that you want to be aggressive with it, but you can handle it a little bit more aggressively than normal. And these guys here just lightly lift and now the contact has been removed. There is a, uh, a small wire that comes down and contacts uh, the pickup. Uh, sometimes on the last locomotive I just did, it was very brittle. Three of the four came disconnected to give you an idea of how poorly soldered those are. So I'm taking that one off here, taking these two off here. And what I'm trying to do here is just keep those away from the truck. so I can get the bottom section off. And this is where an X-Acto knife, and if we look at this here, you can see the clip. There's one clip right there, and there's a clip right there. This will go in with an X-Acto knife, and I come in from above, and I put this under just underneath it, so it's between the tab and the other side, and I let that one rest. And then come in from the other side and lift, and you'll actually start to create a separation like so. Now both of those are lifted. Use a straight blade screwdriver and just start to lift that tab. So now both of these are up. Leave that one in there. Take those out. And I do the same then on the other side. Right like that there. Right like that there. So that releases the under portion so I can get to these gears. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and clean these. Um, clean each one of these and clean the surface contacts. I won't do it all in the video because it is kind of time consuming and nobody wants to sit and watch somebody clean some wheels. Um, all I'm going to simply do is just go through clean obviously the tread, use a little alcohol on your rag, and then I'm looking to clear the face of this. I'm going to do all the wheels that way 
And then lastly is making sure that you get this portion of the contact just free of debris, uh, lint, any dirt or anything that builds up. I'm going to go through that and then I'll be back here to reassemble the locomotive and then I'll give it a test run. All right, here we are. I've reassembled the locomotive. Uh, the biggest problem that we had was the dirty contacts uh, from the actual wheel to the side contact that runs then up into the uh, circuit board on the DCC. So just cleaning those up. Uh, I ran it up and down the yard ladder. Uh, ran just fine. So give it a whirl if you do have a Broadway Limited that has problems running. If you have any questions, just drop me a line. That's all for today's episode. Thank you.